Hi everyone. In this meeting, City and Countryside Part 3, I'm going to review vocabulary and discuss the difference between present perfect and past simple. Okay, first, let's review some vocabulary. Do you still remember the vocabulary? Well, please guess things you can find in the city and things you can find in the countryside. Please do it. All right, have you finished? Well, now check your answers. In the city, you can find traffic jam, museums, cinemas, skyscraper, nightlife, factory, pollution, theaters, subway, and restaurants. In the countryside, we can find ponds, village, forest, fresh air, mountain, lakes, hills, fields, farm, river. Are your answers correct? Good then. Now we move to the next slide. Let's move to present perfect versus past simple. Look at this. I have lived in London for 10 years. I lived in London for 10 years. What's the difference? Well, in the first sentence, I have lived in London for 10 years shows that I still live in London now. So it means that it started in the past and not finished. It is still continuing. What about the second sentence? I lived in London for 10 years. It means that I do not live in London now. It means that it started in the past and finished. Do you get my point? Let me explain about the use of present perfect and past simple. Actually, we can use both the present perfect and past simple when talking about something happened in the past. Okay, we go to present perfect. It is to talk about past experiences without a specific time. But we can use adverbs ever, never, before, once, already, yet, and others. Look at the examples. I have eaten sushi once. Have you ever been to London? Well, once and ever do not show specific time. Now we move to past simple. It is to talk about finished actions at a specific time in the past. We can use adverbs last night, yesterday, two months ago, in 2010, and others. See the examples. I ate sushi for dinner last night. We went to London on holiday two years ago. Last night and two years ago show specific time. Okay, everyone, you can memorize these patterns. The pattern of the present perfect is subject plus have or has plus verb 3. And the pattern of the past simple is subject plus verb 2. Now, 
Let's practice. Sentence 1. Guess the answer, please. Okay, the clue is yesterday. It uses past simple. Therefore, the sentence needs the verb to of sell. So, Jason sold his house to a young couple yesterday. Next sentence. Guess it first. Okay, the clue is he's still there. So it uses present perfect. And the sentence needs has and the verb three of go. Therefore, the sentence becomes James has gone to London to find a new job. He's still there. What about sentence three? Well, the clue is last year. It uses past simple. So the sentence needs the verb to of be. And the sentence becomes It was very hot when we went there last year. Let's move to the next sentence. You can guess the answer. Okay, the clue is yesterday, so it uses past simple. And the sentence is in question, so the pattern is did plus subject plus verb 1. And therefore, the sentence becomes, did you see the boss at the meeting yesterday? Now, what about this sentence? Okay, the clue is, since we arrived here last week. And the sentence uses present perfect. And it needs has, am, verb 3 of B. So, the sentence becomes, it has been hot since we arrived here last week. This is the last sentence. Guess the answer, please. What's the answer? Alright, the clue is this morning. So we use past simple. The sentence is in question. So the pattern is did plus subject plus verb 1. And the sentence becomes did you go to the post office this morning? Alright, that's the end of meeting 3. City and Countryside Part 3. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.